Hello guys and girls, welcome to the Be More podcast. This is your host, Jack Williams. And today, guys, I'm just going to drop a little bit of a, a brain dump almost. All I really do in this podcast is really just drop my thoughts um, at this moment in time in my own development journey because I feel like everyone is on their own journey. And for me, I love to use this podcast as a way for me to really exercise some of the thoughts that I'm going through and, and try to add value and share them with anyone who's, who wants to listen, really. Um, but a lot of it is just an exercise for me to try and really take in some of the things that I'm really learning in this this, this phase, really, of my life um, to try and digest it, metabolize it, and, and take for action the things that I want to, to, to be able to grow and improve. And I've, I feel like we're all on this journey together, right? And, and I love to use this channel, this podcast, and I have done over the last few years, really. I've obviously brought it back recently. Um, but today, guys, this podcast is all about just some of the lessons that I've had just in the last few weeks. So as most of you will know, I've always got my eyes on a book, like I'm always reading. It's something that I've it's become a habit for me every single day is to make sure that I, I, I'm reading some, some something, right? And I, I'm at the moment probably reading maybe a book every week and I'm audioing lots as well. Like I, I'll probably audio maybe one or two books a week whilst I'm in the gym, whilst I'm in the car, whilst I'm out for walks. Anything in my passive downtime, I'm typically listening to things. Um, and I know that when I first started to read, by the way, People, I, I would think, oh, what, what? I wonder what I need to read. But I'm a big believer that in your life, like if you start to take steps forward, it's like driving in fog. Like the, the, we can't see very far ahead of you. But if you just keep your foot down on the pedal and you keep moving forward in your life, you start to see more into the, the distance. And that's what happens has happened for me in my in my own journey, really of of personal life and development really, um, is I'll, I might read a book and they'll mention a book that's helped them within the book. Or I might listen to a podcast and they'll re reference or they might even interview somebody. I'm like, this guy sounds really interesting or this girl sounds really interesting. I'm gonna go and read their book because what you can achieve in a book or in a podcast or in an audio book is you can basically get that person's life, their experiences, their advice from however long they've been alive in the space of a, a book or in the space of an audio book that you can listen to in the gym or whatever, right? So, and I've loved learning little gems from different people. And at different times in your life, you can take different things in different ways because your perspective is just different. Like I, I've, I've revisited lots of books that I've read before and gone, wow, I never read that before. Like obviously I read the book, but I never read it in that way before because we're, we're, my, my awareness is now heightened because of the person that I've become through time, right? And, and basically, I've had this book on my shelf for, I want to say about three years. Like, I, I bought a book called Man Up by Bedros Killian after seeing some of his content on Instagram and on YouTube, and I liked what he was about. I remember seeing him on a few podcasts, and I listened to a few things, so I thought, I'm going to buy that book. And it's been stuck on my shelf for probably about three years now, maybe even longer than that, right? Um, and occasionally I've seen him pop up on my Instagram every now and again because I follow him um, and he'll be sharing something of value that I think, oh, I like that. Maybe I'll read that book soon. And it's been on my shelf for a long time, but it just was looking at me the other day and I was due to, I just finished one of my books. I was like, I'm going to read that one now. So I picked it up, started to work my way through it, um, and I was really, really enjoying the book. So I was then starting to listen to some of his podcasts that are more recent as well. Um, and this is basically what happens, guys, is he brought on some different guests, and I was like, oh, I like what he's about. Maybe I'll now buy his book. So his book would be the next book, right? And I basically finished Man Up. Um, in fact, I didn't even finish Man Up. I, I was enjoying what I was getting from it, but he referenced a couple of other books. So I thought, Do you know what? I'm more ready for that message that this guy is sharing right now in my life I'm going to read that and then go back to finish Man Up. And that's what I've basically done because he was talking about um, things that he was struggling with in the book. And he's like, and then I read this guy's book called Craig Ballantyne on the perfect day formula and how to win the morning to then win the day. And I thought, you know what? I've always had a good morning routine. But he's like, no, no, no. He starts his morning differently. Like he starts his morning by getting the most important things done in his work day. Whereas I've been like, well, I've been getting up and I'm going to the gym, then I'll come home and I'll read. So the, the first three or four hours of my day almost has just been spent on personal development almost. But then I'll get to like halfway through the day and I'm like, I haven't done enough meaningful work or enough significant work based on where I want to go in my life. And he speaks about in this, in his way of looking at it, because I've read the 5am club and that I was basically following that structure 
which served me really well in the, the times of probably from when I was 25. And I started doing the 5am club till until now, but now I feel like I've almost like I'm ready for the next thing. And this is what Craig Ballantyne was talking about in, in his audio book, The Perfect Day Formula. I've been listening to it this morning whilst I was in the gym and I was like, there's so many golden nuggets in this. Um, and another book that, another guy that um, Bedros was interviewing on his podcast was Wes Watson. Um, so I looked on his Instagram, I started listening to the podcast and I thought, I like this guy. And he just released a book called Non-Negotiables. I'm like, that sounds like my kind of book. Got that on Kindle, started to read that yesterday in, in, in my bit of downtime and I'll, I'm really enjoying that. I listen to a couple of his podcasts now. And this is just in my downtime. This is just in my like normal day to day life. I was on the way back from a stag do. All the boys were um, in a bit of a, a bad way. They were sleeping and stuff. So I, I was not feeling too rough. So I put my headphones in, started listening to a couple of podcasts on the journey home, then picked up the Kindle, started reading that when I got home. Um, and I'm just like, wow, I'm taking so many different things from these different, just in the literally space of 24 hours. And then I started to write them down on my phone. Like I'm going to talk about these things on a podcast because I've got a lot of value from this. This is things that I want to take for action and I'm going to talk about it because I want to be accountable. And I, if it's brought me value, then maybe it will bring you value as well. So here are just some of the things that I've noted down. I'm going to talk about them and I'm going to try and like talk about how I see them and maybe how they could serve you as the listener to this podcast as well. So where's Watson? He speaks about create the man you admire then give that man to the world. So just to give it a little bit of context, this guy basically had had spent 10 years in prison. So this is what a lot of his book was about, was about how he, basically in the, in the time that he was in prison, he, he really worked on himself really, really hard. Like he worked on his body, like the guy absolutely ripped to bits. Um, he was training like multiple times a day because he was trying to build himself up, trying to build up his self-confidence, trying to build up his discipline muscle. And he was also trying to build up his mind and he was reading self-improvement books whilst he was in prison. Basically come out of prison and in four years, he's built a thriving business. He's a multi, multi-millionaire. Um, and he speaks about some of the non-negotiable habits that he started in a prison cell and he's now brought into his, his life outside of prison and the results is, is getting him and his belief systems. And I, I was reading that, I was like, wow. And basically this is what I'm always trying to do, guys. I'm trying to take different nuggets from different people at different times in my life because I'm ready for different messages at different times um, as I evolve through my own life. So I take things in differently and everyone will be, you'll have your own, own unique take on things. Like you might listen to some of the things that I'm sharing, by the way, it doesn't really work for you right now in your life. You don't really like the sound of it. It doesn't fit for you and your values or whatever. That's great. Like something I've learned from Jim Rohn is just, is just to be a student, don't be a follower. Don't You don't have to follow all the things that I say, all the things that certain people that you follow say, like Grant Cardone might say one thing about you that you should never own a home, but you might want to own a home because that's part of your value system, right? All these different things. So I would say take the things that you like and leave the things that you don't like. And that's what I've been trying to do with these books. Um, and I, I listened to that when he said, create the man you admire, then give that man to the world. And this guy, Wes, has just built his body up to got the best shape of his life, understood how to get results, and then he's basically built a business off the back of that. And he's worked really hard on his mind to understand human behavior and his own behavior and how he can help others do the same thing. And I was like, there's so much power in that. So whether you're a man or a woman, create the person you admire for yourself. So you think to yourself, this all comes down to deciding what you really want. And I think most people, I've heard um, Craig Ballantyne talk about this on his audio, but this morning, most people are quite vague um, on on what they want, they're not really too. They're, they're too fuzzy. They're not vague on what they want. It's like he said. He spoke about. It. It's like when you go on a holiday. Like I'm going to Greece on Saturday. I'm going to Athens for the weekend, and then we've got a five day um, vacation with the whole of the, um, Herbalife Europe and Africa. The top top performers. Can't wait. It's going to be unbelievable, right? But the first two days in Athens, um, I, I I need to have a plan for what I'm going to do. Whereas if I'm vague about what I'm going to do, we aren't going to get much done, right? We're not going to see the things that we might want to see. We need almost like a to-do list of the things that we want to go and see in Athens. We've got two days there. So what are the things we want to go and see and what are the things that we want to do? And now most people will do this when they travel or they'll do this when they, when they pick a restaurant or they'll do this when they like, they might be buying a certain pair of shoes or whatever, but they won't actually get that granular, that, that level of clarity and, and clearness on their actual life which is more, way more important right, than a pair of shoes or on a certain holiday is what kind of life do you really want to live um, and how what type of person do you really want to become? 
Because once you can get really clear on that, then you can start to work out, right, this is what I really want. How can I then manifest that into reality by creating steps and a to-do list that I can work on daily that can create that type of result for me in my life? So it's about becoming really clear and then creating that vision for the person that you want to be and then getting aligned on that, working towards that daily and being aligned on that. Because, I, And this is where I found myself maybe in the last year or so, having this massive big dream and big, big goals and maybe not being so aligned on what I'm doing daily to get me there. Because I'm like, if I keep doing what I'm doing, I spoke about this in my last podcast, if I keep doing what I'm doing right now, am I going to be at this vision in five years time or am I off track? Because it's like getting in a car and being like going the wrong way a little bit. You're not going to get to where you want to be unless you get yourself back on the right road, right? So it's getting really, really clear and having real clarity on the results that you want, the person that you want to become, the business that you want to build, the body you want, the relationships you want, the family you want, the house you want to live in, the cars you want to be driving, like how you want to live your days, like how, what you want your morning routine to be like, the relationships you want, the people you want to be surrounded by, the masterminds you want to be involved in, etc., etc., etc. right? You've just got to get clear on what do you want, like what things do you want, and then it comes down to, right, that, now I know what I really want. Now what am I willing to do? And what am I also, like what is going to go on my to-do list? But then Craig also speaks about is most important, more importantly almost is what's going to go on my not to-do list, right? Which is a lot of people never really do. I thought about this, this is really interesting because what things are you willing to sacrifice to achieve the goals? And even if it comes to building a not to-do list, what things are you not to do, right? Are you majoring in the most major things? Are you doing the significant tasks and, and activities that can take you to your goal? Or are you being busy in the insignificant things that aren't gonna help you to, to achieve that desire that you have set out for yourself? So there's a few things there that I thought were really, really useful. And I, I've basically been putting these two little books together, being like, wow, I like that, I like this, I like that. Like Craig Bantam, for example, gets up at 4 a.m. every day, right? Wes Watson gets up at quarter to three in the morning every day. So these are two guys that, get up, they own the morning. They both do different things, by the way, in their morning routine, which is what I mean. Be a student, don't be a follower. Decide how you want to live your life because these guys have got different goals, but they've created a similar type of routine that allows them to get up in the morning and really attack the day. And one thing these guys both have in common is they are real clear on their vision. They're really clear on the things that they want and the results they want in their life. Um, what else have I got here for you guys? Level up your life for those around you. Now, sometimes people will, won't do so much for themselves because they don't get clear on what they want, but they want more for, for their family around them. So you can maybe use that as a reason why. You can use that as like a driving factor for what gets you up in the morning. Because some people are like, oh, how do you motivate yourself to go to the gym? Or how do you stick to a nutrition plan? Or, or how do you go out and, and prospect people? How do you talk to lots of people to build a business? Like all these little, how do you get your, your idea and manifest it into reality, right? It comes from having reasons why. And sometimes then reasons why can be outside of you. Like what are you willing to do for your, for your kids to live a better life? For your parents to be able to become free from the job that, they, that they've done for their whole life to be able to help you through your childhood, right? All these different things like what are your reasons for doing the uncomfortable until it becomes comfortable? And then having a new like ceiling where you go, right, I need to find new levels now. And this is what everyone does in their own life. This is where I'm found in myself. Like I've been working hard in, in my own journey, but it's just a ladder. You go through like a ladder of, of almost like of development. I was gonna call it success in, but it's more like development and you can then see further in the distance. Like if you've got, imagine there being a wall there, the ladder can help you to see over the wall. Then there's another wall, another mountain that you've got to go and climb and you can only climb it by taking steps daily towards climbing to the top and it's about having that vision and then knowing what your activity is that's going to move you move the needle towards you being where you are now into actually where you want to be um here's the next one the man who has a certain amount of self-mastery can manifest anything he can visualize well, that's so powerful like this is what i'm talking about is by having that that visual idea of the result that you want like let's use your body for example can you really like close your eyes and imagine the type of body that you want to build like how do you want your legs to look how do you want your bum to look your arms your chest like shoulders abs whatever it is can you imagine it for yourself and then it comes down to the man or the woman who has a certain amount of self-mastery 
Like, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to wake up and are you going to work out in the gym four times a week? Are you going to stick to the nutrition plan 80% of the time? Are you going to re reduce the amount of alcohol you drink? Are you going to increase the amount of water that you drink? Are you going to supplement your diet? Like all these different things, because it comes down to having the visual and really wanting it and then being like, right, how can I master myself? How can I discipline myself to do this? How can I discipline myself to quit smoking, to, to stop doing the things that are not making me a good example to my kids, a good example to the people around me because I want to be a winner. I want to go and achieve the things that I set out to achieve because I can create it in my mind. It's, I can see it in my mind, but can you manifest it into reality by self-mastery, by discipline, by habits, by doing the work through time? Um, next, choosing instant gratification. No, sorry, choosing, yeah, choosing inspiration over instant gratification. This is a big one. Most people choose instant gratification, right? They'll choose the, the quick meal. They'll choose the easy option. They'll choose the not working out versus working out because they want instant gratification rather than choosing inspiration, which is your goals, your dreams, your values, your the things that you really want. That's what needs to inspire you with what you do daily, not the instant gratification of scrolling through Instagram reels or listening or doing more insignificant things versus doing the significant things that really matter, majoring in the major things rather than majoring in the minor things and then be becoming busy, not getting much done, okay? So that's one thing. I'm almost done by the way, guys. I've hopefully, hopefully you got some value from this, but I wanted to, to dump some of my notes on you guys. Um, this is big. If you want others to listen to you, you need to listen to you. Listen to your goals, listen to your purpose, your desires, and go to work on them daily. Like it's like having like someone complaining about, oh, this person's not wanting to join me. This person's not wanting to do this with me. Like this person isn't uh, believing in my product or believing in my mission or believing in my business, right? But maybe, maybe because you're not really believing in it because your actions and what you say are two completely different things. People don't really um, listen to what you say. They watch what you do, right? So if you want more people to be influenced by what you do, maybe start to influence yourself better, listen to yourself more, rather than then rather than saying no to the doing the work, to the majoring in the majors. Like it's all it's all the same thing, right? But if you want to inspire others, start to inspire yourself. Start to really take action on your own goals and dreams, and then you'll notice that by being a doer, by being an action taker, by being someone who who sets big goals but takes big action as well, you'll then start to attract into your life people who are on the same journey, people who want to do big things because you're doing big things, right? And becoming really aligned with your vision because you can choose your income. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. You can choose your income, but there are ways to do it. And you, But you also choose your activity levels, right? So if you, you can choose like, oh, I want to have this certain income or whatever, or this certain body or this certain house or whatever, but then also you're like, your activity levels, do they match up with the goal? Do they match up with the idea that you wanna go and say you wanna earn 30 grand a month? Is your activity levels in alignment with 30 grand a month? Because you also choose your beliefs. And activity, by the way, comes from your beliefs. If your beliefs are, I can do this, this is, these are the tasks that if I do over time and then duplicate that, I can, I can scale and then create this possibility in my life, then that's, that's what's gonna drive your activity to go and get the job done. And you also choose your limits. Most you all, we are all choosing whether it's conscious or subconsciously our limiting beliefs. What things are limiting us in our life? So you choose your limits. You choose your beliefs. You choose your activity. You choose your income. Right. So you have the choice. What are you? What are you going to choose? That like you can choose whatever the things you want, and you will manifest it. Right. Whether you choose good or bad, you're going to attract that into your life if you're willing to back it up with the actions. Right. Um, and structure equals freedom, right? This is something that Craig Ballantyne was sharing today. I, I learned this before from a book called Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin, right? They spoke about extreme discipline equals extreme freedom, right? Because by, it's like, here's an example, by being disciplined with your health, by eating healthfully, by by sticking to the right amount of calories that you need to consume, by by training daily or whatever it is, whatever working towards your goals, by being disciplined, that creates freedom for your health. Whereas if you're not disciplined and you eat rubbish all the time, you don't exercise and you neglect the important things like good sleep, by good recovery, by good hydration, 
then you're going to have problems in your life. You're going to have potentially heart problems. You're going to have all, a whole ongoing list of problems as a result of not being disciplined in that area. Same when it comes to finances, right? Are you going to be disciplined in the way you, you not only you earn money, but you can then you keep it and then you, and, and then you invest it? Are you going to be disciplined in that? Or are you going to be not disciplined and you're going to whatever money you make you spend it all and more so then you crack up big credit card debts um overdrafts fight the in, in, interest rates and then you're running around in circles on the treadmill that you're not going to that you're not going to be able to get off and then you're going to burn yourself out and then you're not going to have any freedom right so it's about having discipline and creating structure in your day that you stick to and you execute on because that's what's going to create freedom. Okay, and this is about finding what you love as well. Because not this, is, this isn't about being, isn't about being like really disciplined and boring. It's about being, doing what you love. It's finding things that you like. The people ask you what's the best exercises for do, the exercises that you love. Because then you're going to keep doing them, and then you just keep getting progressive with them. Be progressive, and you're going to get results, right? If you let's say it's running, you love to run. Okay, let's get some five k runs on the go. Let's say your time's thirty minutes, right? Be progressive. Right, so the next run, you're going to try and do 29 minutes 30. You're going to shave 30 seconds off or whatever it might be. So you're progressively getting fitter in the thing that you like to do, right? And then you might start to incorporate press-ups or whatever because that you want to develop a better chest. And then you boom, start doing press-ups, chest starts to get a bit better, whatever it might be, right? But it's about finding the things that you enjoy. Uh, and by the way, when you get into the training, like when you start getting into the lifting or whatever it is, it's hard. not many people don't enjoy that feeling because you get like a rush of, endorphins you get the runners high that you get in the gym you get a pump most people really like that it's just about learning what to do people just don't know how to do the thing it's that whereas if you can just invest in yourself and learning what to do getting a coach or whatever taking the steps getting a book then taking the book for action the things that it says for action you will start to then make so much progress and leaps and jumps in your life because you're listening to the right things and then listening to yourself because of the things that you've learned, and then you take it for action, right? So stop listening to the, the haters, stop listening to the people with, with small minds, stop listening to the people that are, are, are holding you back in your life. Listen to your goals, listen to your dreams, listen to the right mentors who wanna help you get there and start to take the things that you've maybe listened to in this podcast that you've liked for action to start to achieve and start to create the man you admire or the woman you admire and then give that to the world. Because in your life journey of achieving the things that you want, there'll be lessons that you'll then be able to help others. And imagine if we can all become the best version of ourselves, there'll be lessons in that journey that then you can share with the next person so they can then become the best version of themselves because they might take little bits from it, like I've been talking about from these different authors and these different people who work in business that I'm trying to take little bits from, how can I then try and take bits from that into my life? I've been doing this throughout my whole life some of it's been subconscious, by the way. Like I was doing it in the gym. I was taking things from what I, what I wanted from certain people around the body that I want. Now I'm doing it in business. And then I'll be doing it in, in relationships. Then I'll be doing it in as a, as a father or whatever it might be. I'll, I'll have different um, goals in my life at that time. And then I will find the resources to help me to shape my behavior, to shape my um, understanding and my activity to get the results that I desire, right? Because that's the game, right? Your goals will always be changing because life's always changing. But as long as you're a step ahead and you're proactive rather than reactive, you can always set the sail in the right direction to keep you on the path to get into the destination that you desire. And just know that it's the journey that's the, the, the enjoyable thing. Like, I'm loving this journey. Like I'm really enjoying the steps that I'm taking um, and the, the, the struggles as well, by the way. There's, there's a lot of joy in the struggles because it's, it's helping to shape me, it's shaping your character um, and it's helping you to become the person that can achieve the, the, the things that you really desire. So hope that was valuable for everyone. Um, I will be sharing this on multiple platforms like on my podcast, um, which is on... Um, sound not on SoundCloud. It's on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts and on Anchor as well. If you listen wherever you listen to these podcasts, please do give me a, a review if you haven't already. I'm also going to share it on YouTube um, for anyone who likes to sit and listen uh, and watch at the same time. So, all the best, guys. I'll be back soon with another episode of the podcast. I hope you got value from this. If you did, please maybe put a screenshot onto your Instagram stories, tag me in it, and then maybe message me of what you got from it. That will mean a lot to me. Um, and let's all be on this journey to becoming the best version of ourselves and achieving the things that we really desire. Cheers, guys. Speak soon. Bye-bye.